What the hell was that? Oh my God, did you really, did you really? Right, that, I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm getting out of here. Incredible drone shots, absolutely amazing, but that was the wrong forest. I was pretty much walking for 20 minutes, saw this massive forest, and I was, okay, that's Wisman's Wood. Happy day, started walking more, and then my walk towards, I realized that's not Wisman's Wood, that was the wrong Wisman's Wood. So, I do apologize for showing you some random forest, that I don't really know what it does or what the purpose of it is, and actually, this is the real Wisman's Woods. So, I am here at the real Wisman Woods now, not that one with those amazing drone shots I just showed you. I'm here at the actual real Wisman Woods. This forest, one of Britain's oldest forests. Some people say it's as old as 2,000 years. Some people even say it's as old as 7,000 years. I am going to meet in the middle, I'm going to say it's 5,000 years old. The thing with this forest, they used to cover the whole of Dartmoor. Now it's such a small little bit of it, it almost got cut down to extinction due to the Vikings and the royals throughout the whole royal family history. It got cut down almost to the earth extinction just because the wood is very durable, very strong and lasts for a very long time. Although they are trying to rebuild them, just the drone footage that I showed you before, that's them trying to rebuild build it but this tree itself are between five to six hundred years old so it's a very slow process and it's really going to take a lot of time they're trying to revitalize it to make it bigger also this forest was the inspiration for Sherlock Holmes book slash film is it book book and was it book you just have to look at it to get a gauge of exactly the environment we're in even though we're literally in the middle of the day pure sunlight still has this very spooky every feel about it and you can see itself when you're here you can feel how old they are every single branch has mold growing over them it's a lot of presence that's a lot of character itself the trees are crooked as soon as you walk into the forest it has this very ethereal vibe behind it with the mosses cover trees the moss cover rocks it just feels mystical it feels like from a whole different world completely different from any other forest i have seen myself but the real magic in whisperman woods happens is when the sun goes down seamless yes Done! Woo! Press the drone <laughs> and we're now Whitman Woods. <laughs> we're not supposed to be in Whitman Woods. Well, we are supposed to be in Whitman Woods, but not inside Whitman Woods. Oh, God. oh, Ow. oh I thought I was recording that. That was great. <laughs> <coughs> All right, we've got the map now. That direction. Can you hear that? <laughs> oh, shit. Ow. <sighs> I get sick of this. Why is 
always me falling over in these videos. You never do it. Oh. You're repeating. Hi, you, baby. Hey, we got this road. <laughs> Listen to me, little piece of shit. You need to be a fing man, right? Don't be scared of whispering woods to myself, fing fate. So, we actually ended up uh, screwing the drone up. The drone actually ended up getting messed up. If you can see, you can see there, it actually is compared to this one. Little droney. Oh, Jerry the drone, rest in peace. You served as well for a whole year. You have given me lots of fun enjoyment. Rest in peace, little boy. Anyway, back to the video. One of the things that makes Wismans Wood so appealing to many travellers and adventurers and also what gave his name as the most haunted place in the UK is the stories and legends that come with this forest. I decided to do my own research and share with you guys two of my favourite stories that show how Wismans Wood came to be the way it is. As the moon cast its pale light upon Wismans Woods, the crooked trees stood like twisted sentinels, each gnarled branch telling a tale of souls long gone. Locals whispered that the Notter Forest was cursed, and those who ventured too close could hear the pain and cries of trapped spirits in the trees. Legend has it that centuries ago, when the Vikings roamed these lands, Wisman's Woods was the heart of many sinister rituals. The path that meandered by the woods was once used to carry bodies to be sacrificed in the forbidden depth of Dartmoor. When you go in the woods, you can sense echoes of pain and suffering lingering in the very soil beneath the mossy roots of these ancient trees. The sight of the crooked trees is said to be an expression of pain and anguish of the subjects of these rituals. There is also a more paranormal legend. The legend goes that the devil himself roams the woods and with him travel two hounds. They both have red piercing eyes, rough fur and a thirst for flesh. Every night when curious travellers and adventurers visit Wismans in the night, they can hear an animal's footsteps at the distance. Getting louder and louder, approaching at paranormal speed, they hear raspy screams, shrinkle, growls, snorts and grunting noises, an unholy master commanding his beasts. And when the travellers least expected, the flesh-devouring hounds pounce on the prey, dragging them deep into the foggy woods, where all you can hear is the victim's final screams the victims are never seen again. The next day, when the fog lifts, a new knotted tree appears, as this soul that was once taken by the beast will remain claimed by the forest forever. Anyway, there's just a few of the stories. I'm not really sure which, what it is, but I can tell you there is definitely something different about this forest. And this flies are bloody annoying as well. <laughs> My God. So, I wanna get the hell out of here. This is starting to freak me out. I'm not a massive believer in ghosts, but I do believe there's something else out there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We really need your support to keep making these videos, really have a lot of fun with it. But before you go, for those of you that hit the like and the subscribe button, I am going to show you a video of this very, very scary mod that we caught earlier. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're very sorry. We're very beautiful. Too bad, man.